Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. Today's video is going to be another flavor that I have done in the past. Uh, currently, depending where you live, for me, it's available in the fountain. Um, however, in bottles and cans, I guess, probably just bottles, uh, you might be able to find it only regionally because officially it has been discontinued and even in those little regional Midwest areas where you can find this flavor, um, you know, it may just be what's left on the shelf and it may just disappear forever. But today I'm going to be reviewing Mountain Dew's Pitch Black. Um, I did do a video of the fountain form probably a few months back at this point. I'm not sure when this video will come out. So yeah, I did the fountain because I'd never had it in the fountain and I thought that would be interesting to do. But today I'm going to be talking about the actual bottle form and Today is September 26th for me. This bottle expired at the end of August, the 31st. Got this online because in my area, I don't live in the Midwest, my area does not have pitch black. So I thought, why not buy it while I can and, uh, you know, kind of have one last hoorah with it. I mean, again, it's in the fountain, so I can, I can technically still enjoy it for now, but I've always been a, you know, bottle can person. It just the consistency and the carbonation and everything is, you know, usually right on par. Um, you know, I've given the backstory of Pitch Black, but essentially it's released a few times over the years. Uh, the latest release would have been 2016 when it won the Decision. It beat out Baja Blast magically, and then it was permanent, and then it didn't sell well. It was eventually reduced to regional only. And then I guess it still didn't sell well, and then may possibly discontinued from there. Um, so its status is definitely in limbo, just like Whiteout. You know, Whiteout pretty much the same, more or less. You know, kind of got pushed to regional, and then you know may or may not be discontinued. You know, fully across the board. But you know, if you live in Midwest or Wisconsin or Kansas or any of those middle of the state, you know, middle states, you know, you, you may be enjoying some of these cool flavors still. So yeah, Pitch Black originally was a uh, dark grape, black grape flavor, uh, but ever since 2016, it's been a, I forget the exact thing, but it's like dark citrus berry or something weird, not even berry, dark citrus something or another. Um, yeah, so prior to my fountain video that I did some months back, you know, I really haven't had any Pitch Black in a long time. And honestly, I think the last time I actually bought Pitch Black, not fountain, was probably in 2016 maybe 2017 but probably during or right after the decision event so i'm excited to try this um, i'm hoping that i enjoy it better than i have when i experience fountain flavors so i might have some water first i crack this open here ah smell a very familiar Scent. So yeah, it um it tastes like pitch black, obviously. Um the carbonation is better. very nostalgic. Um, I never had the original release in 2003, four, I think it was four, maybe three, but, um, you know, I've had it every time it's come out since. And, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll miss, I'll miss being able to, uh, buy this on the shelves. Cause I imagine once they discontinue something because this was permanent, I assume once they discontinue it, that's kind of it. I don't, unless they bring it back in the future, who knows, but I, I, I doubt it. Yeah, there's definitely like some grape blackberry going on in here. Um, yeah, I enjoy it better than the fountain version. Again, fountains just, they're always missing something. But Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Um, if you can find it in your area, if you're lucky, buy it because that, that may, that may be it forever. Um, if you can get it in the fountain like me, I mean, it's better than nothing, so... Um, again, Mountain Dew Pitch Black had had a good run. wasn't was, wasn't around you know permanently as long as some of the other flavors, but 
I enjoyed it while it was here, and uh, you know, I'll miss this guy. So um, I'll have more videos soon, um, and I'll see you then.